Hi, I'm Neeraj Mararka, CTO and co-founder of Bluezell, and here we're going to be doing a demo with Matt, who's going to show us how to move tokens from the Ethereum blockchain, the Bluezell tokens that you have, over to the Bluezell testnet, which is our own custom chain, and then how to move your tokens back. So on to you, Matt. Yep. Thanks, Nash. So basically... Um, as Naraj said, I will be demonstrating um, the locking of tokens. So this is the process of you as a user transferring Bluezell tokens over to the Bluezell chain, Bluezell network. And the reverse of that, which is um, unlocking tokens, which is transferring from the Bluezell network back to your Ethereum wallet. So <clears throat> I guess we can get started. Um, so first, I wanted to point out uh, this is a very you know simple UI just to demonstrate these functionality. Um, I, as you can see, I'm in the farmer section, so this is something typically what you would see if you were um, a farmer on the Bluezell network. So if you wanted to send some Bluezell tokens over to the Bluezell network, um, you would do it through a locking function over here. So. Um, I wanted to show you guys the um, my wallet balance. So you can see here that since we are on the test network for <clears throat> Robston, Robston, we're using um, these test tokens. And you can kind of see that there's 989 test tokens in my wallet where it reflects the um, UI over here. And then you can kind of see just right below it, there's um, what's locked Bluezell tokens, and this kind of relates to your balance on the Bluezell network. So right now it's zero because I haven't specified the wallet address. And this is essentially the Bluezell um, uh, chain wallet address that you would be using. So, th so once we launch our mainnet, that's going to be uh, a typical user, whether they're a farmer or a customer of the database, that's going to be their wallet address, their so-called mainnet address. Correct, yes. Okay. So um, as you may have noticed, as soon as I put the wallet address in, um, the balance over here is updated. So this is basically saying that I have um, six uh, full tokens in my um, Bluezell wallet address over here. Um, I can actually show that um, if we want. Um, sure. By going into the back end. Um, don't mind this over here for now, but um, if I do this, you can see that there is six over here. So it's a very large number because it's actually in the units of way, which is the very basic unit for in, in Ethereum. <clears throat> but this is essentially um, six times 10 to the power of the 18. So, um, Essentially, you have six full test tokens over here. Okay. So you currently have uh, 989 Bluezell tokens on, let's just call the Ethereum network. And then you have six tokens, let's call them BNT tokens, on the so-called uh, Bluezell uh, test net, which is going to be the main net. Correct. Yes. Okay. So now what I'm going to demonstrate is locking up a token. So... What should happen is my balance over here, so remember that this is the my Ethereum wallet um, token balance over here. Yep. It should go down by one, mm -hmm. and this should go up by one to seven. Okay. So I'm basically making that transfer from my Ethereum wallet over to the Bluezell network um, uh, wallet address balance over here. Sure. So I'm go ahead and do that. And then you just hit lock tokens and accept that transaction. So you're basically right now just kind of approving, obviously, since you own the Ethereum wallet, that you can send your tokens over. So you have to send them to a lock contract, correct? Correct. Got yes. it. Got it. Yes. So there's a little bit of waiting involved. Um, this so is just basically confirmations, confirmations of that stuff, but... This UI is built so that um, all the buttons will unlock as soon as the transaction is completed. Very cool. I've, I've also created an alert here that will mention you've successfully transferred um, tokens. So 
There you can see successfully lock one Blue Zell token to this wallet address that you've specified. So as soon as I hit OK, and then reload my balances. So remember, I have 989 tokens in my Ethereum wallet and six in uh, my uh, Blue Zell wallet address. If I reload that, now I have 988, whereas to before it was 900. 89 and then if i load my oh. um wallet address it's now seven i can also show you on my ethereum wallet that it's 988 reflecting what's on the ui and mm -hmm. for the locked bnt tokens um so seven is showing there if we go back to the back end you can see that it went from six over here to seven over here. So, so, so just to summarize for the viewers, you've just successfully shown kind of the first half really of the demo where you moved tokens between Ethereum and the Bluezell testnet, which will eventually be the mainnet. Correct, yes. So <clears throat> now I guess for the second part is the unlocking part. Now I have seven um, BNT tokens in the wallet um, and say I wanted to um, unlock one of my Blue Zell tokens. So this should go from seven to six. Now, it's not as straightforward as locking tokens. Um, the way it works is um, you actually have to um, submit a claim that you want to lock a particular amount of tokens. And first of all, you have to make sure that you have enough um, in your token balance over here to be able to get it back. And as I mentioned before, the unlocking tokens means that you're unlocking tokens from the Bluezell network and you're getting it back to the Ethereum, your Ethereum wallet address. Okay. So there's, there's definitely um, some uh, checking involved in this, so it's not as straightforward of a process as to locking transaction, but um, I can go ahead and demonstrate that. So yeah. um, just keep in mind the balances. So 988 in my uh, Ethereum wallet address and seven on the Buzo, uh wallet address. How, how, so, about we, how about we try two instead of one, just because sure. I did one already. So I have enough for two because I have seven. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and unlock two. Okay. So now you're creating that claim right now first. So as a user, if you want to reclaim your BNT into BLZ, you're going to have to first click that button and you're going to have to create a claim, which starts the process. Correct. Yes. Okay. And so now it's pretty much waiting again. Um, it's the same as the um, locking of the transaction. You're just pretty much waiting for a lot of confirmations on the blockchain. And you're kind of waiting for two chains so you're communicating with you know ethereum and you're also communicating with the blue cell network so there's there's definitely a little bit of waiting time um but it, but as you can see um the claim has been recorded so at this point blue cell um us we would actually see that claim on our side and then we would process it for you there so okay um, so it's still waiting. Um, you can see that the buttons have not enabled yet. So there's still some processing happening happening right now. Okay. Um, what, what are we waiting for now? Because we saw an update just now that something was confirmed, right? Um, <clears throat> basically, the claim was created, but it needs to be signed by all the nodes in our uh, okay. network. Okay. So now well, the all the nodes on the Bluezell network have agreed that this claim is a valid one. Correct. So now I'm going to hit OK. And now your claim has been created. OK. And let's try to look at their balance now from the user's perspective. Sure. So 990. And then if I put my Buzal wallet address there, it's now 5. OK. And can we look at both MetaMask and the command line interface to verify those two balances? Yep. And then. The balance for MetaMask is 990, should reflect the UI yep. as well. Perfect. And if we go to the back end, it was previously that, 
But since we unlocked two tokens and sent it to Ethereum, mm -hmm. it should now be that. Perfect. So you just burned two of your BNT tokens, which we're calling, you know, test tokens for now. But you burnt them off of the Bluezell network, moved them back into Ethereum. Correct. All right. Well, that that's great, Matt. I mean, that's that's amazing work. And, uh, you know, I hope that the viewers of this video, um, you know, got a great glimpse into what's coming. You know, we've already got some fantastic bridging in place. Uh, moving tokens between the two networks, and uh, this is going to kind of be the this is going to be the the flow that uh, both farmers and uh, developers are going to use to uh, move tokens between these two networks. So thanks very much, Matt. I appreciate that. That was a great demo. No problem. Thank you.